Yo, it's your boy Coinstock, back at it again, stuffing these duffel bags and collecting that cheddar. Before I begin, please, please, please don't hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm just a friend, trying to educate you. <clears throat> Alright, so, uh, well, look at this today, just saying, we're going to be looking at the analytics of all that's happening in MM Finance, but there's actually some news that slipped by me, and I didn't even know it. It's actually some pretty hefty big news for the MM ecosystem. I think it's a really good thing, and we'll go into depth about that. But first, let's just look at, you know, $1.31, 7.8% in the green. Um, it was at $1.34 for MMF. But um, the circulating supply, total supply, max supply. So we just experienced an all-time high with MM Finance. Um as you're seeing some volatility right here, um, let's see, see a dollar and 34 cents six hours ago. So yeah, we're seeing some volatility right now, but if we look at the bigger picture, I mean, what does it look like? It's like a blip on the map, right? <laughs> like the show must go on, but let's go ahead and go to, uh, this mad meerkat finance, uh, chrono scan real quick. This is the total supply and this is, uh, the users now. And I believe what yesterday it was, Let's see, 27th? Oh, well, two days ago, it was 21,913, but, you know, it's still steadily climbing. I mean, we're seeing a little slowing down, but yet again, Kronos Chain is still a new chain that people are not exactly used to. So, we'll, and plus VVS has, like, a lot of the users over there that are just uh, completely staying back. But as soon as uh, Mad Meerkat Finance flips VVS, it'll change the game. It'll change the game. More people will be flooding in. All right, and here's the overview of the liquidity. And I believe yesterday it was like 105, 1.5 billion dollars, and now it's 1.8 billion. So it's still steadily growing. Now, I want to look at this news real quick. Well, we're gonna look at. <clears throat> there's two bit of news. There's the second Madbox project, right? And then uh, the second bit of news is uh, like an ecosystem adjustment. We'll look at it. We'll look at it. All right, so the first one, let's go all the way up, back up here. I mean, it's talking about Mad uh, Box and about, well, not Mad Box. Well, it is talking about Mad Box. It's the second Mad Box project, but it's uh, about the Mad Token. And we've already talked about that. But if you haven't seen the video, links in the, in the description for the playlist. And I'll also link the uh, exact video talking about the a uh, mad token and the uh, MMA token and the MMG token but it's basically talking about when the project does launch on the Madbox platform that there may be bots trying to uh, snipe the uh, their position into the launch pad and so they're trying to mitigate that risk by uh 50% like the team's 50 like allocation it will be reduced by 50%. So I mean, it doesn't really go more into depth about that. That's why I kind of really didn't highlight it all that much. But what really got me going is the tokenomics. The total supply is 15 million. Now, that's the second lowest circulation of coins in the MM ecosystem. Now, we've seen MMO with 5 million, and it's really appreciated. Although, albeit volatile, it's really appreciated. And well, and also MMF, which has like 500 million, and then like uh, uh, SVN Finance, which has, uh, like for instance, SVN is an infinite amount. And then I should say that the uh, M share is actually the lowest with 100,000 tokens in circulation. So we like to see like a small amount, especially with like Kronos Chain when you're really early in the game. All right, but then it got me thinking, and this is kind of the second bit of news. I was like, let's read this real quick. Mad sale will take place at MM Finance and will last for eight hours, and you will need SVN to participate. And I'm like, because uh, the last project, Serval Finance, which has uh, gone down, uh, it completely just fell on its face. However, what got me is that with, I think it was Serval or the uh, last project that had a uh, la launch from MM Finance they had SVN people needed SVN to participate instead of MMF to participate and then I missed this article which we should read together because it, it does change the game all right so <clears throat> 
MM Finance ecosystem adjustments. Did not see this at all. Bullish tweaks for, for our ecosystem and for SVN. All right, it says, what is going to happen to Savannah Finance if SVN goes below peg? That's what people are asking in the chats and stuff. And this, uh, and the team's like, and this has actually allowed the Dow to accumulate quite a, like SVN has allowed the Dow to accumulate quite a number of MMF tokens to protect the peg as a last ditch me measure. So people, what, what they're doing, <coughs> excuse me, people, what they're doing with these uh, launch pad projects is that, for instance, let's say that they, they have positions in SVN or MShare, but there's a project that's launching on MM Finance. They have to take out their, if they want to, they probably will, SVN and MShare, and they bring it into the MM Finance where it's burned. So it makes the price action of MShare and SVN weaker, right? So they're trying to figure out a way how to keep SVN strong and keep mshare strong but also get mmf to still have deep liquidity keep utilizing it and they they found a solution oh let's see they talk about like why is svn token rapidly heading towards peg and the team says it is important for svn holders to realize that mmf token is still the main launchpad token so don't forget that they're like, we generally see launchpad commitments close to 30 mil USD in MMF tokens. And this generally explains why SVN and MShare tends to have weak price action leading up to launchpad. Most users simply need MMF tokens for the launchpad and hence sell ahead of the launchpad. Launchpads generally provide a strong platform for the average MMF investor to make over a 200% return within that one event. And hence, it is only sensible for them to participate in launch pads. This is why funds generally rotate ahead of such events and weaker SVN and MShare tokens are to be expected. So what it's saying here is that there is an expected launch pad project, right? Now, everybody needs, needs MMF to participate in the launch pad. So what people do is sell their MShare and their SVN to make gains like percentages over MMF so that kind of that seems like a like a bit of a problem for SVN and MShare which you know it's pumping out like a um, MMF equivalent right so <clears throat> usage of SVN token as a launchpad token and there's all this I just want to read this today we are excited to announce the impending use of SVN token as a launchpad token the reason why it is feasible to use SVN token as a launchpad token now is largely because capital and liquidity has been locked in places which most need it, right? And it's like more utilities for the SVN token. Uh, as it says, SVN token already has utility in the METF ecosystem where SVN token can already be used to purchase bonds. So it already adds that little extra layer for SVN with the METF ecosystem. They're like keeping close contact together. However, more critically, other projects have been attracted by the deep liquidity of the SVN token, 80 million USD, and are interested in building on top of our SVN token. We are in discussion with a few projects, and you can expect to see launch pads that will soon provide further utility for the SVN token. So, <clears throat> this right here, very important, uh, right here. We are uh, in discussion with a few projects, and you can expect to see launch pads that will soon provide further utility for the SVN token. So, Madbox, right? It's you. It's launching projects that are utilizing the MMF token, but there are some people that would like to utilize the SVN token in the same aspect as the uh, MMF utility in the Madbox. So we could totally see not only MMF seeing some utility in the ecosystem, but also SVN in the ecosystem. But they are already shifted their perspective on how we should use MMF. I mean, of course, we'll still have like the same kind of uh, feel to this SVN statement right here, where like launchpad projects will want to build on MMF. But right now, 
it's kind of shifting to that SVN side as well, and they have a different perspective on the MMF token. Now, this is the important part of this entire paragraph right here. Today, the MMF token acts as the layer one token of our ecosystem, much like how Crow token is used to facilitate building of liquidity on the Kronos chain. The MMF token acts as the L1 token within our ecosystem to build liquidity. Now, that's perfect right there. <laughs> that sounds like music to my ears because what that tells me is like you know ethereum you know um well okay you know ethereum you know crow you know bnb you know polygon they all have an underlying token that brings in liquidity for the entire ecosystem right because it's the uh, gas token really it's just the uh, coin it's really the coin so <clears throat> what this is, and this is so fresh to me, I've been in DeFi for years, this is so fresh to me right here, is that they're using the MMF token as the underlying project token for the entire MM ecosystem. Like it's a, like a layer one, it's basically like gas to move around the MM ecosystem, but it goes further than that because of the Madbox project and what they're doing with SVN2, which is interlocked with the MMF token, it's all it's bringing other Kronos projects in the ecosystem to also join in on the MMF ecosystem. So that's just there's money going all the way around in this project. This is actually extremely exciting. All right. This statement right here is extremely exciting. There's just so much unlimited potential. But let's continue. Is there anything else? No, that's basically it. So. SVN is completely shifting to what MMF is now, which MMF is basically like the launchpad token, right? But now they're trying to shift it to a layer one token and SVN is uh, becoming the launchpad token. Oh, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. That excites me. But what do I know anyway? I'm just keeping you up to date on the down low. But uh, I just want to give you that update. So I guess I'll uh, see you guys later.